Hello guys, welcome back to Salesforce Anytime channel. So today we are going to talk about uh, the Salesforce API versions uh, retirements. So as you would have known, Salesforce uh, does retire older versions of APIs uh, whenever it's possible. Uh, before this, uh, Salesforce retired the API versions uh, below 21, which were like uh, 20 and below. So Salesforce is going to retire the, the versions uh, which are uh, 30 and below uh, in in summer uh, 23 release so again summer 23 release is going to happen soon uh, if you want to know the dates for the summer 23 release here are the dates so it would start on the May 6th uh, 2023 um, and uh, some of the releases might happen on June 3rd and June 10th so it's not far away uh, when the, the the summer 23 release will hit your Salesforce Arc, so it's better to plan for the the critical release updates. What Salesforce is going to force on on your org, right? So, uh, being said that, um, so as you would have known, these API versions 21 through 30 are going to retire. So, what's what's going to retire uh, in these, uh, right? So, any. Um, any other applications uh, which are making calls to your uh, your Salesforce org using these APIs for example SOAP API 21 to uh, 30 uh, or even REST API from 21 through 30 so any any of these versions if, if those are being used by other applications to connect to your org uh, then it's going to fail after summer 23 release so also the bulk APIs uh, are the same so if s some other applications are using these to connect to your arc then it's going to fail so how do you know uh, if uh, other applications are using these API versions right to connect to your arc so that's the most uh, difficult part and challenging part where uh, you would know things which are already in your arc but how do you know the other systems which are making calls to your org right so there's a way in salesforce how you can check that uh, how other systems are connecting to your org how they are calling these um, uh, api uh, apis uh, versions uh, to your org uh, right so the way how you can do this is using uh, the event monitoring so if you want to check which of the um, api versions are being used then you need to have the event monitoring turned on uh, in your in, in your org and once it is turned on then you get to get um, event log files you, you get access to event log files in your org which you can use to check uh, what versions in fact are being used by other systems to connect your org so let's see uh, how you can check that uh, information right uh, if these versions are being really used or not so I just wanted to show you these are the release uh, notes where it mentions that Salesforce platform API versions 21 through 30 are being retired uh, in the summer 23 release so I would put the links into the description for these uh, uh, articles what I am showing right now and I also wrote an article on this uh, how to uh, handle or how to act on the API versions retirements uh, so I have mentioned a step-by-step -step guide how you can actually export the event log files uh, from your org and then analyze those so let, let's go and see how you can do this right so I am going to show it anyways practically how you can do that so let's log into a pack magics here so which uh, will help us to download the event log files normally in salesforce org you won't be able to download it directly um, the the event log files either you have to use an heroku app or this kind of app which would uh, let you know uh, which would let you download the attachments from the event log files so let me enter a password here and login so it's going to al ask me to allow access um, to the connected app so that it can access your org 
So this is using the OAuth 2.0 access technology. So once I'm logged in, uh, it's going to show me packages menu, and I just have to check for the export event logs, which is here. So here is the thing. Um, so if you have uh, too many event logs in your org, uh, then probably you would want to filter those um, using from date to date, uh, probably last week or last month or last quarter, any dates you can select. And uh, in order to check for API versions retirement, we want to check for three types of um, API uh, event types. So which are like REST API, uh, SOAP API, um, Obviously, you could check bulk API also, and uh, there's one more which uh, I mean I don't have in my org like um, this um, API total usage. So you could uh, either select these one by one if you wish, or you could select a date range and you can select them. Uh, I mean I'm going to search them all by just clicking on this button because I have very less event logs in my developer org so probably your developer org also would have like six to ten event logs but if you are having production org then you might have a lot more so you you want to use these filters in that case so i could see the results here so you can see um the the event type api is actually a soap api which you can select from here soap api so if you search a soap api and search event logs then it will show you the api uh, event log type here and um, if you I, I could actually open this up and then I could show you how the event log file looks like for the API so I have to click on the export uh, event log files so it's downloading um, the files on my uh, local so I'm going to open the file here uh, so if you have Excel then it's going to open in Excel so since I'm using Linux uh, this is my open office I'm using so this is the event log file for SOAP API how it looks like so you have to look for the API version in this um, so that you know which API version it's being using oh, well, just yep so I've got API version so almost all of uh, mine are 51 so here here is what you have to check um, like if some of the calls being made to your org has 30 API version or less than 30 API version so if if there are those are the um, uh, those are the user names you want to track and uh, who is making calls using those APIs right and you want to inform those uh, team members or like those teams uh, that they should start using the the API versions which are greater than 30 which is like starting from 31 okay so this is an example I wanted to show you and uh, I mean of course uh, this is very easy to check once you know how how you can download the event log file and how you can um, then check it uh, for your orgs so that's what i wanted to show you in this video i hope you like this video um, so if you have any questions comments suggestions uh, please do put in the comment section